If you're experiencing problems with Bridge Plug and Hook always crashing every time you launch LSVFR, say you load up on the screen and then the screen just crashes, the game just crashes and stops, and then it always says Rage Plug and Hook crash as an example right here. But don't you worry, I'm going to show you guys today in this video how to fix this problem. And it's a very simple thing you could do. So the reason why Rage Plug and Hook always crashes is because the version you're using is out of date for example game config could be the culprit on this old version you would have to go this way like game config version 34.5 or version 1.0.34 you would have to go this way and then select more or less mods and then select the number of traffic the problem is this version is outdated so it's not going to work anymore that's the reason why rage plug and hook always crashes Secondly, you have to update script hook v as well. You can see this one was recently updated a couple of days ago, so that's the reason why it also crashes. You can see this new version right here should fix the problem. And if you can, also reinstall LSPD first response as well. So let's go ahead and actually get started. So let's go ahead and first reinstall LSPD first response this one is for version 3570 so let's go ahead and actually download it so click on download this file scroll down and click on agree and download and select the manual install not the setup where it um, installs automatically always select manual so click on download and let it do its thing this game config version will come back to it uh, in a little bit We'll just let this download. Once it downloads, click on open file. Let's close this since we don't need it. We'll come back to this in a little bit. Now go to your GTA 5 main directory. So for mine, it's going to be at Steam. Select the legacy, not the enhanced version. Right click, scroll down to manage and click on browse local files. Okay, so this is our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. So see all of these files right here you just highlight them all of them and just drag them into your grand theft auto 5 main directory it's going to ask you an option to replace it which for me will be since i already have them installed already but i'm just showing you guys an example and you can see now it's updated for 6 20 2025 so that means our game is updated so it should work and now we could get started on installing the rest of the programs so let's exit out of this and get started you can see we have game config xml for the 3570 so click on this button where it says download this file and let it load it should download pretty quickly You could see it's downloaded so click on open file and for this one you're going to need open iv so go ahead and open up open iv select grand theft auto 5 select windows okay for this one you're going to need to click on edit mode select yes and for this one it's going to be mods update update.rpf common data so it's definitely the same as the old game config version except for this one it's going to be a little bit different so on your folder right here you're going to select versions and for this one you want to select 3570 so click on 3570 and game config so it's definitely the same as the old one you can see mine's is actually already installed because that's an old version but once you install this new version it's gonna stay the same but it's gonna change trust me so left click on your mouse drag and drop it into your open iv and there it should change now so that one's already installed so hopefully that should fix your problem so let's exit out of this and now we need to install 
script hook V. This one is 3570, so it's recently updated. Like I said, back in June 18th, 2025, so a couple of days ago. So click on this button where it says download. And now click on open file. Let's close this out because we don't need it. Let's minimize this. Go to your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. And for this file, you're going to select the bin. Um, you only need to highlight these right here. You know? So, just highlight all of these right here indicated. Drag it and drop it to your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Since I already have them, it's going to uh, ask me to replace them. But if you don't have them, then it will not say this. It will just go directly and install it. But since I already have them installed, I'm going to click on replace. And there we go. They're installed. And the last step, we're going to install ELS. Since the game had a lot of issues, we're going to have to reinstall ELS or emergency lighting system. This is version 1.5. So click on download this file. Agree and download. Um, you could select the advanced hook V, but we don't really need it. You could use the version 1.5 instead. Highlight it here. So click on download and let it do its thing. It should download pretty quickly. Okay, once it downloads, click on open file. Let's get rid of this. And now just follow along. So you're going to select the files where it says installation files. Click on installation files. Grant the photo. And now highlight uh, just these three. You don't really necessarily need ELS. Unless, of course, you want to be on the safe side. But. You can do that if you want, but just highlight these where it says advanced hook. So left click and drag just these three files, drag and drop it into your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Since I already have them installed, I'm going to replace them. And boom, you're done. Now everything should be updated and the game should launch properly. So you can see right here, it's all updated. So now the game should be able to launch now so we're going to open up the game since we reinstalled it uh it's going to give us this message right here click on accept and boom you can see we have updated to 3570 so that should fix the problem so click on save and launch okay and now i'll see you guys as soon as the game launches now we're going to click on continue and now let the game launch. You can see we're in GTA 5, so we're going to launch it with Rage Plug and Hook. Alright, so we're in the game, and I'm going to show you guys that it shouldn't crash anymore. You can see that the loading screen stayed loading, so that means we fixed the problem. These simple tricks that I showed you guys should resolve the problem. If it still doesn't, then make sure you double check to make sure that you install all these programs that I showed you guys properly. And you can see now the game has launched fully. It is loading up properly, so that means we have fixed the problem. And to show you guys that it works, um, you can see the game works perfectly now. You can see... The game is running with no issues. We can use our lights perfectly with no issues. And that simple step that I showed you guys should fix your problems. So anyways, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. 
Please subscribe if you can and follow me on my new TikTok page. Anyways, take care guys. Have a good day.